Hello, ladies and germs. Hello to our reptilian overlords. If you are listening, 69 is the password. <laughs> <laughs> so, Mr. Chris, do the Illum Illuminati, yeah, do they still own McDonald's or not? As far as I'm aware. Okay. I what can't about with that anytime soon what about starbucks oh definitely starbucks what about donald trump um i wonder if he's been kicked out well, i don't think he was ever in it i wondered i was asking did they still own no i was in kicked off the list of own assets oh, oh i see maybe so there's a question that does not come up nearly enough for my liking that's when the crazy occultists like to ask about the Illuminati, right? Mr. Liam, Mr. Chris, what do you think about the Illuminati? You know, do the Illuminati exist? Is it that whole thing where the Queen is an alien? Well, I hate to break it to you. The Queen's dead. <laughs> so, Mr. Chris, where do you stand on this whole fast food thing the fast food empire and such all of these big you know because monsanto is in fact a chemical company isn't it they apparently get involved a lot with food but it's really it's a chemical company where do you stand on all the conspiracy theorists and conspiracy theories you know was it, is it true that diana was onto something therefore she had to die because she worked out just what the colonel's secret recipe is in kfc chicken nuggets i mean what what is up with it all there's only one secret there and it's not a bigger secret it's just that there's no <laughs> the secret recipe is there is no chicken <laughs> <laughs> it's not why they call it kfc it's a yeah. kentucky fried isn't it I did once tell someone that when if you go to KFC, or it was either KFC or Miss Millie's, I can't remember which one it was, but I said, basically, you'll notice that it's a such and such, like a muck burger or it's a such and such wrap, and that there is no chicken written in it because they're not legally allowed to call it chicken because, I mean, the thing that they use is basically just this slop. It doesn't even have feathers or eyes or anything. It's just like this meat juice thing, like a brain that just gets grown in a lab. They only fucking believed me, didn't they? <laughs> but the thing is, it's kind of believable when you think about it. Well, they have they have developed chickens that don't have feathers to make the whole meat industry easier. Mm. But it's hard but to have we... it's hard to have those to be free range though, because you'd have to knit all those little jumpers. Do you think that cities are like battery farms? Because okay. battery farm chickens are all like on top of each other and they, they've got really bad legs and that. That's why in the shops you tend to see it with the chicken legs cut off because they're all blistered and gross and that. I find that these days, thanks to the rising obesity and type 2 diabetes, a lot of people also have their legs chopped off. Do you think we're being battery farmed, Chris? <laughs> Because you didn't answer my first question about the Illuminati, so hopefully you'll answer this one. Did I not? What was the question? Did I miss I the question? I don't know, but can you stop doing that weird triangle thing with your eye? It's annoying me. Yeah, he keeps putting his hands up and making a triangle and then placing it over his eye. I don't know <laughs> what that's all about. <laughs> You're such a liar. Um, there is no evidence. You cannot prove it. Well, this is audio, unfortunately. But the good thing about any show like this, like those old-fashioned call-in shows, is our audience will already be pa not paralysed. No, we haven't done that charm yet. Uh, polarised. They'll either be believing and being set up ready to believe that you're a part of the Illuminati, or they'll be thinking it's all just a joke. Either way, we win, and it's good for ratings. Okay. But no, battery-farmed humans, Chris, please battery farmed humans you only have to go and have a look at any modern crematorium these days 
and see that from from a deity level, yes, we are just farmed battery chickens. Do you think that the Western average Western person is in fact a slave, and that they are merely replaced slavery with a fake form of freedom, which means that they don't realise that they're slaves and therefore don't really retaliate? Okay, David Ike. Um, essentially, in some ways, yes. Okay. Can you elaborate a little bit? How far well, would you go with that? It's called the Catholic Church. Oh, you're very anti-Catholic, are you? So, well, not... Yes and no. Um, there's a few libraries I'd like to get into. Mm. Um, but, you know, no one likes, you know, fucking that many small people in order to get somewhere in life. Mm. So you don't think that our reptilian overlords have learned something from the whole Spartacus thing? And that they thought, well, wait a minute, we were very obviously meaning that they're all going to be slaves and keeping them as slaves. I know what we need to do. We need to free them all, but get them hooked on mod cons and an ever increasing pile of debt. But they will be free, right? Mm -hmm. But they you won't be free because they'll be part of the rat race. We'll call it a rat race. We'll, event, we'll invent the rat. Then we'll invent bubonic plague to kill off a couple of them. And then we'll start over, Chris. You know, like when we flooded the place that one time <laughs> to start over, we'll have to do that again. Obviously, China can stay as it is, as like last time, because they're all very good with the slavery over there. <laughs> we never have a problem with them. But that Western lot, I tell you, uh, they um they never thought about why they needed a wall, did they? It was to keep no. flooded. <laughs> I thought it was to keep the dinosaurs out or to keep the dinosaurs in. I don't know. Or maybe it was just like a really much better version of Western Supermare where the waves just crash up against mm. them. Perhaps. I don't know. Perhaps, perhaps. But yeah, uh, ultimately... The, the Romans, the Romans used to keep what they called um, the mob, mm. so, you know, the general other other class that wasn't wasn't in charge. You keep the you keep the, the class, the mob happy with circuses and games. Yes. Well, we have modern television for that, don't we? We've got like Strictly Come Dancing and The X Factor. Yeah. And they've made it even better, haven't they? Because now so you can be part of the experience. Oh, yeah, the, yeah. With X Factor, you can be part of the experience. Yeah. There's an opportunity that you might be able to become a number one record. Well, I mean, back in the day, surely it wasn't it just Julius Caesar that voted the yes or no. Nowadays, the public can vote for the contestant they want thrown off of the island or the show or... The planet i don't really know i can't wait for when elon musk really does work out this mars thing and we'll have like reality tv shows on mars where they get sent off to mars and stuff and they end up getting flown off the planet in a jetpack to to die in the vacuum of space the vacuum that big vacuum that is space that would be fascinating we we'll call it the elon show the elon show the elon show yeah Stop giving secrets of the future away. I'm sorry. I'm really sorry. So back to the current regime. So <laughs> we both um, might have different definitions of what the Illuminati are. So different from each other, but we would probably have different opinions on what that would be compared to general conspiracy theory. And our good friend, who's not really a friend and not an associate of any way, shape or form, David Icke, who lives on that island, you know, the floating island full of old people. What's it called? Seattle? No, no. It's just off the coast. Oh. Isle of Wight, that's it. The Isle of Wight. <laughs> that's where he lives. It's basically a floating fucking nerd's name, except it's not floating because it's an island. But you get what I mean. It, it, is, it is a nursing home. Yeah. 
So, what's your definition of the Illuminati? Mm. Yeah. Do you want me to give the two serpents definition? I want you to give the actual definition that you yourself would go by. And then we can see whether they can figure that out and understand it. Oh, okay. You want me to bamboozle? Okay. Well, we need to be honest, but we cannot give too much away, Chris. I know. Or they'll have our tails. Or possibly worse, our heads. (laughs) (laughs) Although they'll probably go for the tails because, you know, they grow back, obviously, don't they? Oh, yeah, wait. Is it the head that grows back or is it the tail? Because since I chopped my tail off, that one I'm growing back. So it might be the head I want to keep. No. Or not. I can't remember. The head, Liam. I haven't been decapitated for a while. Oh. I've never been decapitated. Have you not? No. Oh, you should go. It's quite a regal way to go. No. Oh, I wasn't around for that. We used to have Um, fire before. You miss out on all the good stuff, don't you? No. I don't like these modern newfangled guillotines. No, well, they're French. That's probably why. <laughs> anyway, Chris's okay. definition of the Illuminati. Okay. Well, you know, I don't like the David Icke version. I don't like the idea that the so called money holding classes are the ones ruling things. Well, no, they're not. But then doesn't he say that they are but merely slaves and vessels for other things like reptile aliens and stuff? I don't think he thinks that the... I won't say the name. I'll say a different family name, one that I might not be tied to. Uh, let's say the Rockefellers instead. Say so the Rockefellers. I've got no affiliation with the Rockefellers. <laughs> they are not... Um, no, they're not at the top, are they? They're merely at the bottom. They're more like supervisor level now. Yes. Yeah. Right. That would be David Icke's perspective. But what's your perspective on what the Illuminati is? You said something about a a serpent or a dragon. That sounds very Illuminati esque. Well, we talk about and I, I will only talk about so much about this before the watershed, just saying. Oh, um, of course, the watershed. Gotta make them pay for it. Gotta make them pay for that information. Yeah. We're part of the capitalist regime, aren't we? Yes. Or more so, the bits that aren't included in the algorithm. That's the main reason I keep most things to after the water. <laughs> I never thought about the algorithm. I forget about that bitch. So, yeah, so I, I'm avoiding the algorithm, Liam. Um, okay. Let's report me to, um, you know, those in charge. Jeff. I think he's in charge of that department. Is Jeff in charge of that? No, he's in charge of shopping, isn't he? <laughs> I forget. <laughs> I never read like the internal roller decks, you know. Oh, that prick Zuckerberg. Zuckerberg. Zuckerberg's in charge of, uh, yeah, what's he in charge of again? Communications. Communications, head of communications. Okay, right. The name. Yeah. Um, Jeff, Jeff would be in charge of logistics. Was well, not- Jeff's in charge of logistics and shopping. I just, he's listed in my phone as shop, shopping. Jeff shopping, shopping assistant. He's always able to get you really, really good, like Amazon voucher discounts, like where they're just free, free mm-hmm. shipping and free products. <laughs> Everything from China. Some of this from China. Uh, yeah, so for me, we would talk about we would talk about the two serpents. You can call them dragons if you wish to. But um, you know how I hate this at the same time as I'm saying it, because I do hate a duality, um, <laughs> which is why you're making me torture myself in this way, aren't you? Yes. Yeah. So can say it in a way that un- they will understand or at least attempt. Okay. There are two, three serpents. And these two slippery serpents are continually wrapped around each other, almost like a caduceus, funnily enough. Oh. And they are wrapped around each other in a in a never-ending battle. Oh. Mm-hmm. And uh, this is where someone would say something like, here is the light side and here is the dark side. 
Oh, is this good and evil? Something about your father. Oh. Um, and some possibly throwing some lightsabers there. So do you see where he's where Mr. Ike is probably getting most of his information from? Star Wars, apparently. <laughs> <laughs> um so yeah, so there's there's that kind of concept of a duality, and part of that duality is is the Illuminati. So is this concept of a ruling class. Now oh. The they sound like the goodies. Are they the goodies? <laughs> Why? Because they got alum, alum light in in the name. Well, yeah, it just sounds like they're alumni. So they must be the ones that graduated. Did oh, they graduate I... and they're in charge, the ruling class? Yeah. So that's the that's the kind of ruling class concept for me, um, of of the Illuminati being there in order to create what we've what Ike would call New World Order, which I know we joked about last time, but we have a very different plan. Um, so, yes, what is interesting and less Ike about it is, one, I don't refer to aliens in any way, shape or form. Um, we have enough weird shit here without needing aliens too. Um, but the other part I would stress and hasten to add is they're not necessarily people that are from from the main screen are uh, in quote and I'm putting air quotes there um, in charge. So the people actually in charge, and by that I mean um, other kinds of avatars, and that's the only word I can kind of come up with. There you go. There's some gibberish. I think they're doing quite a good job of adequately confusing people. Well done for that. Very yeah. good. I like that you've got dragons then as yeah. well. I like you've got light and dark him. Yeah. Are there any other algorithm buzzwords that we can go for in our explanation before we actually do the proper deep dive explanation for the people that pay? Um... <laughs> There was that one time that you remember the Fasty Witches show got interrupted. <laughs> well, it didn't get interrupted, but there was someone that was watching us live. Can you remember that? Yeah. That was fucking excellent. They had a proper Illuminati documents. Yes. Apparently. Mm -hmm. the is what they were saying. They got genuine Illuminati documents. I was like, hmm. Yeah. Interesting. Bear in mind, we never write anything down. I don't think they would either, do you? Well, he said that they were on a website that you can view, which I'm presuming they therefore meant that they're not astral contracts in any way, shape or form. So I'm not entirely sure what Illuminati documents they would be, because yeah. they're certainly not these fasting deals I get commission on. <laughs> so now, how would you like to repair my, my answer? I think we should first discuss, so that we don't give anything away, we should first discuss what I think our interpretation of what the conspiracy theorist the people think an Illuminati is. And then we can talk about our views on the subject Okay. in the extended edition. Well, and then that, that way it's all above board. Yeah. So what do you think the general idea of this thing called the Illuminati is these days in the 21st century okay in the 21st century most people would say it is a shadow organization who secretly rules the world and okay. then add or subtract aliens slash lizard people slash people from other planets so there is a system of some form of enslavement of some description where humans are slaves and worker bees and then there are human uh, supervisors let's say that seem to have all of the money wealth and power and such and they rule the world and then on top of them there's basically the things that are in charge which david ike and such would refer to as reptilian uh, multi-dimensional alien things right and then Maybe. there's all sorts 
like a sci-fi show that has been running for far too long obviously the the storyline gets a little boring therefore they need to involve other things such as other aliens like on star trek it would be boring if they just dealt with the borg every episode or yes. the klingons every episode so instead obviously the conspiracy theorists need to bring in the gray aliens the little gray people and then obviously there's different types of gray people there's the tall gray people and the little gray people and the somewhat bluey pigmented kind of people and then there's the nordic people they're the hot ones by the way they run the bellamy <laughs> bellamy studios <laughs> Um, and then there's the various other things that get crammed in. So it basically is like a, a sci-fi show that's been running for too many years, I think. No? Is it just me who thinks, interestingly, they're all devised by how they look, like the racists that write them? <laughs> <laughs> well, no, because a lot of the conspiracy theorists they are racist, but then you have the David Icke ones that all talk about we are one people, we are humans, we are just, what is it he says, a uh, consciousness having an experience, you know, as a human and such. I mean, he sounds a lot more like a Neoplatonist, you know, our friends are Neoplatonists. Um, you know, a lot of them feel like that, that this is like some sort of meat soup. Um, they do like to talk about the meat suit an awful lot. They like to talk about the meat suit as being a trap and such like that, which is really interesting, their take on that kind of a thing. Um, but no, I mean, it is the idea that the, that the people that you think are in charge of the world are not in charge of the world. The most scary, and I think out of all of it, in fact, I think the most hard to believe aspect is that we all know that the people that are officially in charge of the world, you know, global leaders and that, a lot of them are fuckwits. <laughs> a lot of them make a lot of mistakes. Politicians, celebrities, all these various people, Whitney, um, they will make a lot of mistakes. Now, the hardest part to believe is that behind those people, there is actually a big group, a global Illuminati, secret society group of people that don't seem to make any fucking mistakes. So what is easier to believe? Is it easier to believe that actually most things are just people trying to do their best and really doing <laughs> massive <laughs> fuck-ups on a global, global scale? Or is it actually that there are conniving smart people led by reptilians behind the scenes that don't seem to be making any mistakes, but that all you need to do is just love a little bit and it will defeat them, Chris? What's more believable? <laughs> <laughs> well all, all will be solved liam if we just hold hands well i mean there is that kind of old-fashioned from charmed episode of a consummation between two polar opposites and that that would essentially end the universe for it to be made anew maybe that's what we need to do is we need to hold hands and chant a sacred spell called kumbaya do you think that's what we need to do? Do you think that would end the world? If if we actually did that, do you think it would end creation? Maybe. I mean, there's a big chance that it could. <laughs> I can't picture myself holding hands, running around in a circle and singing Kumbaya, in all honesty. <laughs> but there we go. I mean, it would be apocalyptic times if that were to happen. Surely we'd sing that. What's that other one? She'll be coming around the mountain when she comes. She'll be coming round the mountain when she comes. <laughs> <laughs> and obviously the she there is obviously your mate Gaia. Ugh, oh, her. No, she'll be dead, won't she? That's the point. End of the world, end of Gaia, isn't it? Every cloud has a silver lining. <laughs> <laughs> Checkmate. <laughs> cool dinosaurs. Right, so... How old, how old is this idea of this Illuminati thing, right? Because our, our mate David Icke, he likes to talk a lot about, it's all about the fucking Mesopotamians, because we all know the Mesopotamians are little troublemakers, and they do indeed will end up coming back and causing trouble again. But does that mean that the Anunnaki are in fact reptile aliens that came down in flying saucers and such and did 
uh, get obsessed with gold, eating gold, and then decided that they wanted to enslave or create, because I think they went for, you know, I think he says that they created humans. They took the monkeys, they did some next level science gizmo shit, made the monkey slightly more intelligent, and then here we are, and now we're slaves, and then they buggered off, and now they're coming back, which part of that is true. They will be coming back, but... She'll be but coming around. She will be coming around the matter when she comes. <laughs> Oh. She'll be riding six white horses when she comes. Because <laughs> she's that big. It needs six horses to carry her. I thought it was the four horses of the apocalypse, but sure. <laughs> Who are the two spare ones? Well, I don't know. How many horses of the apocalypse are there? I'm pretty sure there's four, aren't there? Pestilence, well, war, pestilence, famine, and death. Is that them? I forget. Like Something like that. Um, I've just totally forgot my thought process. Chris, you're supposed to do it with one eye. You don't. Put, you just look like a twat if you just play, if you put a triangle. In your, he's literally just put a triangle, basically made a triangle with his hand and offered it up to his forehead. And no, that's not what you're supposed to do. You're supposed to do it over the eye. You fucking idiot. <laughs> just now, Chris, you just look like one of your own students. <laughs> no, it's McDonald. McDonald can. No, McDonald's. no, McDonald's is like that. It's supposed to be an M, isn't it? McDonald's. Now, can you do the YMCA song? No. 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 Okay. I object to such campness. Okay. <laughs> Especially this close to the the. Uh, month of obligation right so we've got three minutes left what can people expect from the extended edition of this show mr chris because the people that aren't paying we need to convince them to pay to play pay to play pay to play um, obviously not... they get magical mentoring and stuff but who gives a shit about that i mean they want to know some deep high level conspiracy theory shit don't they well, of course they do. They're all wearing tin hats right now. I hope they've earthed them, because the problem with wearing tin foil hats or any sort of metallic hat is they actually enhance his brain waves, <laughs> and that you need to connect it to that bitch, Terra, or Gaia, because that earths the system. But there we go. Try telling that to a conspiracy theorist, but then they think that basically uh, electricians don't know nothing about electricity, immunologists, <laughs> don't know nothing about vaccines you know <laughs> that is the nature of the conspiracy theorist mr chris yes yeah, when, when you devote your entire life to something you would not be an expert that's not how it works well there's no such a thing as an expert chris there's no such thing experts don't know everything <laughs> so being serious what are we actually going to discuss we'll discuss our personal gnosis Personal gnosis is like a big thing in the occult world, isn't it? Personal mm -hmm. gnosis. And we'll talk about that counterpart dragon number two. What, you mean the Illumina? Say it. <laughs> I want to get you to say it for the algorithm. Because no one ever says this word. This is a, this is a high level word. The Illuminari. The Illuminari. So the Illuminati are the Illuminari. No, the Illuminari. The no. Illuminari. Not the Illumina. The Illumina. <laughs> <laughs> there was this oh it was a ridiculously bad um computer game because we weren't really allowed to play violent computer games so dad bought us this christian computer game which was by this company called illumina and when it loaded up it would say illumina and literally what you had to do was go round. so the archangel gabriel would appear before you and send you on a mission and you had to go around converting romans with a sword that you would they would come running at you and try to kill you and stuff and you had to wave your sword about and direct magical energy towards them and if you zapped them right they would go on all four not sorry go on all four go on their knees <laughs> right catholic church hadn't been invented then go on their knees and pray and it would come up 
type thing. It was really, really ridiculously crap.